Okay, so we're uh, we're back, and um, right now we're going to go through <clears throat> marking up the actual chassis here um, to do our drilling for the various parts, and I've already started. And what I like to do, and I've showed this in the previous video and other videos, is um, use some of this uh, 3M tape here, this blue tape, painter's tape, um, and cover the chassis in it. And what that allows us to do, or allows me to do, is to draw on the chassis without sort of, you know, making a mess on the chassis. And it also, um, the tape is thick enough where, I've showed this before, if you use a scribe, and kind of, which is a pointed object, and just sort of press into the tape with it at a point where you're trying to drill a hole, it'll actually give you a little bit of a, a little bit of a hole there where a, a small drill bit um, can get started and, and keep your hole in the position you want without having to use, you know, like a mallet and a, uh, a punch, like a center punch or a pointed punch. All right, so anyway, so we've got um, this uh, chassis all ready to go in terms of drawing on it. Now, one of the things um, that we did is we opened up um, the previous amplifier that we were sort of, um, that we did a few, maybe a month ago or so, over a weekend and, uh, you know, wanted to make sure that everything that we were doing would would transfer into this, um, you know, sort of uh, concept of where everything is. And one of the things I noticed um, that would we would want to change on our drawing would be that the middle pot is actually located dead center of the chassis. And what we have dead center in the chassis, if you can pick that up here, I'm going to put my finger on it, is this sort of, um, well, it's, it's a molded turret into the, into the um, enclosure itself that allows for a screw to attach the back cover on, and that would interfere with a potentiometer in that position. Um, as you can see on this one, it's sort of in the middle, so it doesn't really give a, give a problem. But we really want to uh, still have the middle control in that position. So to accomplish that, we're going to use um, a smaller Borns potentiometer, or uh, rather this is actually an Alpha 25K Lin, and that'll be substituted for the middle control. And when we place it into position, um, it will not be in a place where, um, or it won't make contact with that sort of protrusion inside the chassis. Um, and also, you know, it will uh, <clears throat> basically, you know, <clears throat> be the same function as the uh, larger Borns pot, just a slightly smaller uh, footprint of it. All right, so let's go ahead then and, and start to uh, measure things out and to show you briefly how we like to do that or how I like to do that. Um, I like to use a, a machine square. This is a nice little garage machine square that got at the... Uh, Woodcraft. Um, you can also use one of these, you know, small six inch, seven inch um, framing squares from a home center and that'll help you keep everything lined up nice. Um, all right, so let's start off marking where things will go. Um, and I'll briefly show you that. So the power transformer obviously is the first thing that we want to put in to the chassis, right? And locating um, the transformer in this case is very easy. It just kind of comes into the corner here. So we uh, we line up this transformer to where it's sort of just inside of the corner here and here. Um, and then we get our pen here and we can go ahead and mark this. You know, the sun's gone in a little bit since um, the last video. So I'm gonna turn on this light. Oh, there goes a tiger. So I can see a little better. Um, yeah, that's good. The shadows are a little bit weird. Maybe I'll move the light here so it's uh, not in the frame, but uh, not so shadowy. Okay, that seems to work. All right, so we have our two holes here for the tabs to secure our power transformer. Um, we're also going to put in place um, where the holes are for the leads to enter through the chassis. So I like them to be in sort of the same place. So I'm gonna go ahead and just draw us a little line here so I can keep them in the same place. Um, yes, yeah, so we'll put that one there. 
Okay, so I think we got ourselves the transformer in position. Uh, next, we want to put in the potentiometers. And uh, now the pots we've got right now are at what? Let's look at it real quick. Yeah, just about a little bit over with the machine square. When you look at it from the edge, it's just about three quarter, maybe just a smidge over that. So we'll go ahead and draw in our lines um, for that. Okay, now we can uh, connect the dots, so to speak. Okay, and then we're going to have our first potentiometer sort of in the corner here, right? So we're looking at, as in this one right here, from the edge, it's just about exactly three quarters. So three quarters, three quarters, and that puts us in a nice triangulation to the corner. Sounds like the, the animals are getting angry in here. We better hurry up. Or else would you expect to see, find a monkey but in the jungle, all right? All right, so these are spaced an inch apart. All right, so those are our potentiometers, being our master, bass, metal, treble, and two volumes. Okay, next thing we want to do is put in our location for our tube sockets. And if I remember right, that was what, two and three quarters? Yes, correct. So we'll use our uh, framing square and we'll line it up. We got one there and we got another one right here. We can connect our lines. And an inch from the edge is where this first socket is. And I think it's an inch and a quarter between the sockets. And it is. So we'll line that up, get an inch and a quarter. Okay, and those are our two sockets, and they're going to be mounted with the tabs in a vertical position. So now I'll also use the framing square to draw myself an extended line. And that'll be the line to which to orientate um, the socket tabs to mark for when we drill out for the sockets, to mark for the ears where the holes are for the ears. So it'll kind of be like once the hole's there, we'll drop this in and then turn it until it lines up with these and then we know we're at 90 degrees. It's just easier to mark it now through the center before you drill it and then have to guess where the center used to be because the metal is now gone. All right, so now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use the framing square and we're going to, um, we're going to put in a, a line here um, for where we want the output jack to go. Now the output jack is just about an inch from the edge. So let's flip it over here. We're going to mark it for an inch. Okay. Now we're going to use the square once again. Use the smaller square to uh, mark our line. Okay. And then we'll find the middle of that line, just eyeballing it, really. I mean, if you've been working with stuff for long enough, finding the middle of something and by eye is pretty accurate. Um, so now we'll do the same thing for the output jack. Now the output jack should be extended along the same line as these potentiometers were. So I'll grab um, a square here. And I'll mark that. And then I'll eyeball the middle. Okay. So that's marked up. And then we're going to uh, mark it. Actually, I actually already did off-camera mark for the IEC, um, but I'll show you how that went. Basically, I just took um, the IEC, the power inlet, made sure that the tabs here are not interfered with by these corner sort of posts, 
Then I marked the two edges, giving it a little extra room. Then we have our two lines at which the center, or rather the, the body will fit in. Um, next to that we have the uh, fuse holder, which was uh, located, I guess, what are we doing here? Two and three quarters from the edge. Um, all right, so now we have to continue marking for the IEC connector as in where it will um, be located. trying to find, where did I put it? Well, I guess we don't really need it. Um, I was trying to find my uh, calipers, but the body of this connector looks to be three quarters of an inch. All right, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically Place this in the middle here. All right. So we're going to line up this here and here. Okay, we're going to draw a line between them. That'll help us with the ruler. So we want three quarters of an inch between the two of these, basically. Basically, you're going to take one quarter, two quarter, and then a half, right? So right there, quarter and a half. And that's three quarters. And we'll do the same thing here. So we got a quarter plus a half a quarter, right? An eighth. Another quarter plus an eighth, uh, right there. All right. And then we can connect these dots, so to speak. And this should be our IEC cutout. All right, now the way to do the eyes to cut out for a square hole, um, if you don't have, you know, the multi hundred dollar custom punch made for you, which I don't, um, what I like to do is I'll, I'll drill a hole here, 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 and here. Um, right in the middle of about, let's say a quarter inch, because I'm gonna use a small scroll blade on a jigsaw to cut this. And what that allowed me to do is to cut basically in between the holes and you'll have a perfectly cut out square or close to perfectly cut out square, depending upon how steady your hands are. Okay, so um, that's pretty much laying out the, um, the chassis for right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, drilling out and cutting and then we'll be able to mark for some more positions of pots. So I'll see you next time. So we did the machining on the, um, on the chassis up to a specific point. Uh, we have all our pots drilled out, the two tube sockets, transformer, the uh, inlets for the wiring, the power inlet, the fuse holder, input and output jacks, and now um, Basically, we need to locate a couple of things that's best to do um, once you have the, um, the unit kind of partially to a point uh, where certain things that might be interference, interfering with other things are already located permanently. So that would be like the fuse holder. We're going to go ahead and put that in uh, for the purpose of uh, locating the power supply, which would consist of... Uh, the rectifier assembly and the um, filter caps. So you don't want anything kind of banging up into one another. So um, you're just gonna temporarily place these uh, components in the chassis. Um, we've got our fuse holder. I'm gonna put in the, um, the Jose Master Pot right now. Locate that in here. Right, and then also the um, base control pot. So those are the th the ones that I'm most interested in, as they are the closest to where we want to put in the power supply. Right. 
So the highest likelihood of interference. And that lion is hungry. Time to feed it some steak. All right, so now we have, um, I'll show you the rectifier assembly right here, which are, it's a full wave bridge, four diodes right here. And then our two uh, filter cap assemblies, which are some uh, radial uh, 47 mic uh, 500 volt capacitors. Um, and the first one is going to be mounted over here. That we determined. Plenty of room here for it, right? Okay, we're going to double up a nut to make kind of a standoff here. Then we're going to place in our unit. Go ahead and put that in place. Okay, so this is where the, um, you just tighten it down a little bit so we don't have it wobbling around too much. There we go. <clears throat> All right, so you can see it's a, it's kind of a tight fit right there um, between the potentiometers and the unit right there. Um, so the next place we're going to locate would be, well, let's see, where, where would it could fit for things? Maybe we could put this, this one here. It'll avoid the fuse holder. Check for the fit for the power inlet. Plenty of room there. Good room for the nut for the transformer. The two nuts for the transformer. Now where we where would we place this? We could place this up here along with the um, we could place it here, we could place it here. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll put it here. Right here. Um, it'll be a good a good spot for it, and then we can put these right here. And that'll give us room for uh, just about everything else we need. Okay, so I think we'll go ahead and mark this one. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and mark for the other assembly of <coughs> filter capacitors. Okay, so we can go ahead and drill these out, <clears throat> these two spots, and we should have our, our um, pieces uh, mounted. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, drill those out, and then I'll be back.